Okay, so problem tayo for the question no? for the built-up shape shown below. Uh, I will determine the elastic section modulus S of X. So rotation niya with respect to X axis. Okay. And the yield moment MY. Okay. <clears throat> Isa na natin. Okay. So yung S of X is simply the inertia with respect to X over C. Okay. C, define na natin yan, which is um, from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. No? So ito yung C. In this case, yung C at the top is equal to C at the bottom since it is doubly symmetrical. So wala tayong pagpipilian. Parehas lang kasi. So what is this value? So, ang neutral axis na ito, obviously, since symmetrical na, nasa gitna. So, half ng 1 feet or 1 foot is 6 inches from here sa ilalim ng flange plus 1 inch. Kasi 1 inch yung thickness ng flange. So, this will be 7 inches. Also, this will be 7 inches. Okay? So, C natin is relatively easy. 7 inches lang, no? So, what is inertia? Inertia naman, there are several ways to solving inertia, uh, pero yung gagawin yung pinakamabilis na lang, no? yung inertia, with, uh, yung paggamit ng uh, calculus, no? integral calculus. So, ang uh, lower limit ko will be negative 7, upper limit will be 7, ito yung lower, ito yung upper, and yung length ng straight will be 8 inches, y squared dy, kasi y itong ating ano, no? Pero yung minus mo pa syempre yung butas kasi it's not a really a rectangular, rectangular shape. Yung minus mo yung butas nito. So, ano yung butas na yan? So, yung limit niya from here, ma-minus mo lang ng 1 inch. So, negative 6. Positive 6. Ngayon, na ano yung strict na ito? It's just simply 8 inches minus 1 half. So, it's 7.5 y squared dy. So, ilan yan. So, I'm assuming na abisado nyo pa rin yung pagkuha ng inertia. If there, there are several ways in doing this, no? Kung hindi kayo komportable sa pag-solve ng using this one, kung gusto nyo ng anong tawag dun, yung may Caltech, then you may do so, no? So, kinocompute ko lang. So, compute nyo na rin. Sabay nyo na ako pagparehas tayo na sagot. So, the answer is 740.33 inch raised to 4. Okay? So, lumampas ng konti. Okay? So, tapos na. Ang SX, hindi pa. Kapag tapos. I mean, tapos na inner siya. Divide mo lang ng 7 inches. And the answer is what? 107.05 inch raised to ilan? 3. Okay, yung MY. Okay, ang moment yan <clears throat> uh, will be equal to will be equal to F sub Y yield stress times Sx. Kaya nasanay tayo ng 248, no? Hindi pwede 248 dito. Bakit? 836. Kasi ang unit natin is in English. So, ang 248 is megapascal. Ang equivalent nun, kaya nga 36, eh. 36 KSI. 36 keeps per square inch. Oh, be careful, mamaya. Baka gamitin yung 248. Mali yung unit yun, no? times 107.05 equal to kaya tinawag na 836 yan, no? 36 KSI yung kanyang yield stress. So, the answer is 3,853.8 uh, ang unit is na ito, keeps inch. Okay? 
So, kung tinatanong, keep patient. So, yan, yan. So, that's the answer. Alright. Okay, madali lang to. Pop, ang, ano, medyo tricky dito kung hindi nyo kabisado. Yung plastic section modulus na ZX. Ang ZX, if you recall yung description ko, it's just always half of the area. It's A. Okay? So, kung anong gusto nyo unahin? Bale, ako pa rin naman ng, ano, no? Kunin na lang natin yung A. So, ano yung A? So, I'm just copy, we'll copy this one. Ipat ko lang dyan. Okay. Oh, so, ano to? Kuhin ko lang to, ha? Centroid. So, ito yung neutral axis niya. Centroid na itong nasa top. Most likely dyan. Ang centroid na ito nandito. So, yun yung ating value, no? A. So, I can say that A, kunin natin yan. Kunin ko tong Y bar. Y bar din yan. So, A will be equal to what? Correct. A equal to twice the Y bar. So, kunin natin yung Y bar. Y bar will be, kukunin ko yung area muna neto. Parehas lang naman siya, no? Uh, symmetrical nga. So, kunin ko muna yan. That will be how much? Area is A times 1. So, magmula dito, ilan to? Di ba 7? 7, di ba? So, kalahati ng 1 inch by 6.5. Tama ba? <clears throat> so, yun. So, 6.5. Okay. Tama ba? Kasi uh, same natin. Area. Tapos ang centroid magmula dyan hanggang dito 66.5 okay, so plus area naman na ito ilan na area na ito? 6 inches times 1 half or 0.5 kalahati ng 6 is 3 divided by yung total area so 8 times 1 plus 6 times 0 0.5 so ilan yan? <clears throat> 8 times 6.5 sabayan nyo ko times 0.5 times 3 8 plus 5 point sorry it's 5 point ano, sagot nyo, diba parehas tayo 5.55 inch ok, so yung A is simply 2 times 5.55 then the answer is 11.10 tama? tama uh, inch ok, so meron na tayo so ngayon, kukunin natin yung ZX ang formula ng ZX is total area Divide mo lang ng 2 kasi area ng uh, compression should be equal to area ng tension times A. Nakuha na natin A. So, kunin natin yung total area. Divide lang natin ng 2. So, ang total area, pag nakita nyo ito dito, that will be 8 inches ng planche. So, times 1, times 2. Bakit? Kasi top and bottom planche dalawa plus yung web which gives us how much? It's 12 inches or 1 foot times 0.5 yung thickness. Okay, divide lang natin ng 2. Yan yung kailangan natin. Times yung A, 11.1 will give us what value? Just compute. Samahan nyo ko kagad pag compute na ito. That will be 16 plus 6 divided by 2 times 11.1 and the answer is 121 or 122.1 and the unit is cube inch. Okay? So that's it, no? Uh, dapat, meron kayong ano, na dapat alam nyo na mas malaki palagi yung section, uh, plastic modulus kaysa sa section modulus. So in this case, tama, 122.1 compared mo sa 107.05. Alright, pagpala tayo tapos. So, ano yung plastic moment? 
So, plastic movement is simply, simply what? Yes, that is F sub Y lang times mo ng imbis na section modulus, plastic modulus, since di namang magbabago yung yield stress, 36 times 1, ilan yan? So, times 36, of course, mas malaki yan. This will be 4,300. 95.6 Oh, I'm sorry. So, this is not I think keep inch and this should be of course inch raised to 3. Ito kasi yung keep inch. No? Masyado ako nang advance. Okay. So, yan po. That is the final answer. So, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much.